Hi, I'm Taylor from Therapy Tree, and today we are going to read a book called Florette by Anna Walker. When May's family moved to the city, May wanted to bring her garden with her. Her mother said she could make a new garden, but there was no room among the crowded buildings for apple trees and daffodils. Instead of winding paths and leafy hiding spots, all May found was a cranky cat. And boxes, lots of boxes. May missed playing with her friends, listening to the birds in the apple trees, and gathering things for her treasure jar. She longed to chase butterflies in the wavy grass. She drew her own butterflies. But the rain washed them away. She set up a picnic. But the apple tree fell over and the daisies went missing. May was tired of those boxes. Down below, people moved like ants, winding through the streets. Beyond them, May spied an open space, a space with trees and a swing. When May's mother was ready to go out, May ran downstairs and led the way on a new path. She turned the corner and walked over a bridge between the buildings and under the lampposts until she came to a park. A park filled with tiny stones and, a, and empty chairs. May drew a daisy in the pebbles. She listened to the hum of the city and the rustle of a tiny bird. It was an apple tree bird. The bird took flight and May quickly followed, only to see it disappear into a leafy forest. But the forest was closed. May waited and waited. The bird did not come out. May stared at the entrance for a very long time. Then she noticed a small green sprout peeking through a gap. A piece of forest. May walked back around the corner. She hopped over tiny stones and past empty chairs. She weaved through the streets under the lampposts and back over the bridge. At home, May held her new treasure up to the light. On the windowsill was her jar. A small jar with enough space for a plant to grow in May's garden. The end. Thank you for joining me for story time today. Until next time.